What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dippin' in the building. You know what time it is. So, yeah, today we're gonna go on a little cruise. And while we're going on that cruise, I'm probably gonna go ahead and review the eBay KS Tune Billet Shifter that I installed a few videos ago. So I'm gonna do an actual review. I've been driving on it for a while, so I can I can give it an honest review. But um, I'm actually gonna do it while I'm driving. So yeah, man, stay tuned. I like the ride in my two seater. I like the ride in my. So, basically what we have today is the review for the Billet K-Tune Replica eBay uh, shifter. You guys saw the um, you guys saw the install video. I was missing some footage, but for the most part, you guys got the gist of it. Um, so yeah, today I'm actually going to be uh, taking you guys along for the ride and actually reviewing the shifter. Um, now, I do also want to let you guys know that um, I have been driving on this shifter for about two three months so I really have some time behind I can honestly review it um, that being said I do have one disclaimer I do want you guys to know up front that my third gear for whatever reason is starting to slightly grind a little bit um, so if you see me struggling to go into third that's not the shifter so I'm just gonna say that I'll off, off game but other than that man let's get to it you know what I'm saying burn out or no it's like no Maybe not anytime soon because this is performing pretty well, but 
I would say that in the future, I would definitely be willing, willing to spend the coin on the actual KS2 version of this, seeing it, the difference that this made from OEM. So, it's nice. It's like I said, no slap. It's simple. Now, oh, I will say the one thing that kind of throws me off is that um, I think the, or this is, I think it was originally made for the RSX, which if I'm not mistaken, they're, they're six speeds. So with the six speed, when you put it in fifth, it does have more throw than it should. Like this is normally, it would stop about right here, right? For the normal fifth gear. But because it was originally meant for six, you can actually push it further over. Not really a big deal. It's not gonna make you, it's not gonna cause anything. It's not gonna um, make you miss shift because it's fifth gear anyway. I figured if I got the $180 version, it had to have been 
better in quality, so that's why I chose that route. But it's still better than paying, what, the $400, $500 that the K2 one is. Um, but I would say, if this one makes that much of a difference versus OEM, I 100% and sold on upgrading to the actual K2 one. If this one does that much better, the K2 one has to do even better than that. So that's pretty much my uh, my consensus of the whole product, man. I like it. I think you would like it. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, kind of been spinning. Man at the coupe. Mama no tennis. Chop out the top. Hit it in the limit. I got some.